before starting to work in Excel, it's best to get it set up properly. So first of all, we go to the file and then click on options. If you want to go there via keyboard shortcuts, you'll hit Alt F T, or if you're in slightly older versions of Excel, it'll be Alt F I. Within options, you then need to go to the formulas tab first of all, and we'll make a couple of changes here. The first one in the top left hand corner is the calculation options. By default, your workbook calculation is set to automatic. This means if you make any change to any cell at all, all of the cells automatically recalculate. This is quite efficient. It means if you make a change, everything goes through automatically. You don't need to worry about it. However, if your model starts to get quite big and includes data tables, well, data tables can take a long time to recalculate. And every time you touch Excel, they want to recalculate. So you might want to instead go for automatic except for data tables. If your model is really big, then you may want to change your workbook calculation to manual. This means you can make lots of changes without the whole workbook recalculating each time you do it. The way you actually get it to recalculate is to press F9. Second up, where it says enable iterative calculations on the right hand side here. By default, this is turned off and we would recommend you leave this off. However, if you are sent an Excel file by someone else and they saved their file with enable iterative calculations turned on, then it will be on in your computer as well now. So do be careful, you do need to check this periodically. The last one, at the bottom of that box where it says error checking, there is a tick next to enable background error checking. This is where Excel looks for inconsistent formulas. Maybe you've got a whole row of formulas and one of them is different to the others. Maybe you've got lots of average formulas and you've got a sum formula in the middle. Excel would look at that sum, say that's inconsistent and put a green triangle in there to try and tell you it's inconsistent. That can be useful, but most of the time it just means you end up with green triangles everywhere. I'd recommend turning that off. If you now go to the advanced tab, in the advanced tab, there are two changes we'd recommend here. Firstly, the top one where it says after pressing enter, move selection down, we recommend unticking this. Normally you press enter, 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 and you move the cell down, down, down. It's best to be in control. It's best to press enter and stay in the cell. You may want to format that cell. You may want to change cell style, copy the cell, copy it to the right. It does take a little bit of getting used to. We're all so used to pressing enter and moving down, but you'll get used to it very quickly. And the last one at the bottom where it says allow editing directly in cells, turn that off. You don't want to be editing in a teeny tiny little cell. Instead, we want to be editing in the great big formula bar at the top of the page. And that is your Excel all set up.